The open, desolate fields of Verlonia offered little shelter from the relentless battle. Captain Roberts crouched behind a crumbling wall, the sole standing structure in what was once a thriving village, now resembling a war-torn wasteland. He checked his plasma rifle for what felt like the hundredth time, more out of nervousness than necessity. The weapon still held half a charge, but they were running low on ammunition. Another explosion shook the ground, showering Roberts with dust and debris. He risked a glance over the wall. A hundred yards away, the remaining human defenses were being overpowered by a swarm of insectoid creatures known as the Zorvadons. Their piercing screeches and howls sent shivers down Robert's spine, despite having heard them countless times before. The humans had held Verlonia for six months, but their calls for reinforcements had gone unanswered. High Command had written off the planet as a lost cause, deeming it unworthy of further investment. Now, only three dozen human soldiers remained, vastly outnumbered by the relentless Zorvadan warriors. Roberts checked his ometer. Any moment now, the evacuation ships would land to rescue the remaining survivors before Verlonia fell for good. Roberts knew he might never set foot on this planet again. He touched the small pendant around his neck, a gift from a local child, a reminder of what they were fighting for. His brief moment of reflection was interrupted by Private Thompson, who came running over the rise behind him, closely pursued by plasma fire. We've got a move, Captain. The Zorvadans have broken through the eastern flank, Thompson panted as he slid into cover beside Roberts. Most of our team is down or have fallen back. It's just us now. Roberts muttered a curse under his breath. If the Zorvadans overtook their only viable evacuation site, no one would survive. Grab whatever ammo you have left, Thompson, Roberts said, locking eyes with the young private. We'll give those creatures a little surprise. Thompson nodded, hurriedly slotting his last energy pack into his rifle. Roberts placed a hand on his shoulder, feeling the privates trembling from adrenaline and fear. Easy there, son. We knew this is how it might end, but we're not giving up. Come on. Roberts vaulted over the barricade, moving from one piece of cover to the next, with Thompson following closely. The evacuation site lay at the bottom of a rocky ravine, the only relatively flat area for ships to land. Unfortunately, it also made for a perfect killing field. A dozen human bodies lay scattered across the rocky ground, with the survivors taking shelter behind debris and wrecked vehicles. At least 50 Zorvadons were swarming towards them, their sharp limbs glinting in the harsh sunlight. Stay strong, everyone, Roberts called out to the few remaining survivors. Help is here. With a burst of covering fire, Roberts and Thompson joined the defensive line. Sergeant Wilson gave Roberts a grim smile as he approached. She was wounded in several places but held her rifle steady and sure. It's about time you showed up, she said. These Zorvadan creatures just won't give up. That makes two of us. Roberts replied with a defiant grin. Corporal Jackson checked her device, her brow furrowing. Three minutes ago, you know they won't wait if it gets too hot. Roberts scowled. Three minutes could mean the difference between survival and certain death. Spread the word to hold positions, no matter what, Roberts said. Help is on the way. He hoped saying it would make it true. The defenders lowered their heads as another salvo exploded overhead. The Zorvadans were nearly upon them, a relentless force of teeth and claws. Their shrieking cries echoed off the high ravine walls. Steady! Roberts raised his rifle, sighting down the first Zorvadan that came within range. He pulled the trigger, dropping it instantly, but more descended upon them. Open fire, everyone! Rifles blazed. Zorvadans fell apart in sprays of fluid and limbs, but still they kept coming, driven by a singular purpose. Robert's rifle clicked empty. He drew his pistol with his off hand, desperately trying to hold them back as they advanced. Claws scraped across his chest plate, sparking but failing to penetrate. 
A barbed limb caught his wrist, sending his pistol tumbling from his grasp. He swung the empty rifle like a club, fending off the encroaching attackers. Humans and Zorvadons grappled in close combat. The line had broken, and it was every soldier for themselves. A formidable Zorvadon, larger and more fearsome than the rest, loomed in front of Roberts, an imposing figure known as the Zorvadan Chieftain, apparently relishing its imminent victory. Its tri-hinged jaws snapped furiously, poison saliva dripping from its maw and long, sticky strands unfurling. Its claws flexed, ready to deliver the killing blow. Roberts locked eyes with the creature, recognizing the same primal determination he had seen in soldiers of every species, the will to survive and triumph against impossible odds. They both knew that only one of them would walk away from this encounter. Muscles coiling, the Zorvadan chieftain leapt forward and was abruptly knocked aside by a barrage of plasma cannon fire. Robert shielded his face from the heat and shrapnel as the gunship roared overhead, unleashing a torrent of gunfire. The evac shuttle descended behind the gunship, its ramp lowering before the landing struts even touched the ground. Get aboard, everyone! A commanding voice echoed from the gunship. We don't have all day. The surviving Zorvadan warriors swarmed the gunship, frenzied in their pursuit. The pilot maintained her position, mowing them down with ruthless precision. Robert scrambled to his feet, assisting the soldiers nearest to him. You heard the orders. Get on board. Jackson, Thompson, let's go. The weary survivors hurried up the ramp, shedding weapons and gear in their haste. Robert stood at the base of the ramp, guiding each one aboard while shielding them from stray fire. The moment Jackson's boots cleared the threshold, he activated the hatch control. Is everyone aboard? Go, go, go! The pilot wasted no time, the engine roaring to life as the shuttle ascended into the sky, leaving behind a cloud of dust and gravel. Exhausted, Roberts leaned against the shuttle's interior, breathing heavily. He locked eyes with Jackson, and together they broke into exhilarated, relieved smiles as the shuttle ascended toward orbit. Roberts gazed out of a small porthole, watching the devastated landscape where so many lives had been lost. The Zorvadans swarmed through the ruins like an infestation, erasing all signs of human presence. It would soon be as if they had never existed at all. Roberts held the pendant around his neck, offering a silent prayer to whichever deities might be listening. He had fulfilled his duty, as had all of them. When the call to return came, as it surely would, others would arrive to stand and fight, continuing to do so until the job was complete. The shuttle departed without fanfare, leaving Verlonia behind as just another insignificant speck, already fading from memory. But Roberts would remember, as would all who had been there. And when the time came to return, they would come back. Humanity endured, and it would prevail once more. The future of Verlonia hung in the balance, a fragile hope amidst the devastation. The resilient spirit of the human defenders and the unwavering promise of continued support and reinforcements hinted at a possibility of reclaiming and restoring the beleaguered planet. As the dust settled and the evac shuttle streaked towards orbit, Captain Roberts couldn't shake the burning determination that flickered within him. Despite the current desolation, he held on to the belief that Verlonia's saga was far from over. The echoes of battle still reverberated in his mind as he considered the road ahead. The planet's fate had not been sealed. It was merely a chapter in a larger narrative of resilience and steadfast resolve. The sacrifices made and the unyielding courage displayed by the defenders bore testament to the unbreakable human spirit. As the shuttle journeyed onwards, Roberts found solace in the silent prayers of hope whispered by the survivors. Each one carried within them the collective will to see Verlonia redeemed, a testament to the enduring nature of humanity. In the days to come, as they regrouped and strategized, 
the memory of Verlonia's plight would serve as a rallying cry. The fight was far from over, and with each passing moment, the resolve to reclaim what was lost only grew stronger. The saga of Verlonia was not one of defeat. It was a tale of perseverance and unyielding fortitude, a testament to the indomitable human resolve to rise from the ashes and rebuild. The planet's future may have seemed uncertain, but the human spirit burned brightly, igniting the hope for a new chapter in the planet's history, a chapter that would be written with unwavering determination and the unbreakable will of those who refused to concede defeat.